Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Hello Baby episode 23 to 24 due to Webtoon's new policy. I do it to blur 50% of each episode. So if you guys want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. And for anyone who wants to support me, I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, and read this without any sort of censorship, no blur, no uh, like cat logo popping up. Um, they're available on patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I read Hello Baby, so I don't remember what happened or where I left off. Uh, I like you. And I really want to be with you. Hello Baby, episode 23. And just so you know, I'm not this kind to just anyone. I'm like this because it's you. Mm -mm. Oh. Sorry, you were, you were so cute. Can I hug you instead? Just kidding. Sure. Oh. Thank goodness. I don't like you getting mad at me. Would you still like me if I told you I had a meeting with my own lawyers regarding our situation? Of course. What about it? You're not mad? Isn't that a normal reaction when I came at you first with lawyers? <laughs> but I'm glad you opened up about this since I also talked to my own legal team about everything. I was told it would be best if we come to an agreement. Really? <laughs> that seems to be the best decision for now, for the both of us. I was worried our talk would be something else. Like dark and heavy and full of fighting. I'm glad it's not. <laughs> hmm. What's that? Uh-uh. Uh, a gift. This for always taking care of Leon. Whoa, for real? Ta-da! I like it a lot. Is it keychain or what is it? Cute. A ring? Can't you put it on me before you head back? Uh, you can put it on yourself. Nah, I want you to do it. Do the honors. Thanks, Gwen. Oh, it's a little hair tie. Uh, thank you too, Arthur. I hope I can say it out loud someday. But don't. Something's wrong? You say you aren't this kind to just anyone, but the first time I saw you, you were surrounded by women. How many people have you dated before? Uh, what did I just... <gasps> uh, I've dated many. How dare you? This is what they call a trap question. It is. Whenever a girl asks you how many women you've been with, the names of your exes and stuff like that. Like, it goes the same way. Even for, like, women when your boyfriend asks. Honestly, I would not answer it because I got burned for the many times I told, you know, my former, like, my former boyfriends that, oh, hey, yeah, you know, like, I dated these many guys. Or, like, oh, my ex's names are XYZ. Or, like, if I'm, like, yeah, whatever it is, they they would stalk my former exes. And it's super weird, it's super cre creepy, and then they will use it against you. And don't ever, to me, I don't feel like I need to go through my, my boyfriend's husband or whomever I'm with their cell phones or, like, care about their past unless, you know, like, they do keep some of their memories like pictures and you know cards and stuff like that from their exes and then i know their name i was like oh you know like hey do you still have feelings for this person like here it is like if it does hurt my feelings to see it can you put it away like that but i would never force my person to throw away stuff that means something to them from the past but that's just me but this is a trap question don't ever 
I, I don't want to say don't ever. That's really up to you. But just know that if you tell them the truth, it might burn. You know, they might use it back against you. Anyways, <laughs> rambling. None. Liar. No matter how I answer, I feel I'll end up with the same result. Forget it. I shouldn't have asked something like that so suddenly. I'm not trying to pressure you or anything, so... I just don't know how to respond to that. It's true that I've dated several people. Of course, I'm here for Leon, too. But I'll never forget how you were there for me at my lowest. You really cheered me up just by being there. Does this answer satisfy you? Yes. He really was a way of making me... He really has a way of making me feel things I normally wouldn't. It's getting late. I should go back. Huh? Already? Yeah. Good night. I don't want him to to notice how I'm starting to feel happy when we're together. That's why I'm always in a hurry. But for some reason, I always end up explicitly, explicably sad later on. Uh, it's a mystery. Would you like to stay the night? I'm already reaching my limits. They kissed? Not making those noise. Oh, oh, oh. That's Leon. I'll go check on him. And Faye. Okay. Oh. Oh, what's the matter? Is he in need of new diapers or when? This is an emergency. Huh? huh? It's Leon. His temp's pretty high to be continued. Oh yes, oh no! <laughs> Ooh. I'm sorry, I'm still, I can't <laughs> make noises when it's like that type of content, so I'm just like awkwardly like, <laughs> hurry! <sighs> My nephew's so cute. Should I send a pic to mom? <sighs> Nah, bros go nuts. Oh, 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 did I wake him up? Oh, wait. Oh, oh, that's Leon. I'll go check on him and Faye. Okay. Oh. Gwen, this is an emergency. Huh? Oh. It's Leon. His temp's pretty high. Hello, baby. Episode 24. Well, 38.7 Celsius. How high is that? Hold on. It is 101.66 degrees and Fahrenheit. A fever? Oh. Don't worry. Faye's on the phone right now with a specialist. Are there any pediatricians who will even see us at this hour? It's never been this high before. What should I do? Gwen, calm down. How about we wipe him with a cool wipe him with a cool damp cloth to ease his temperature? Think that'll work? Arthur's right. I, I need to calm down. Oh Leon. From the vaccine shot? Most likely. It's a common side effect. You didn't mention vaccine, so I panicked a bit too. Let's keep trying to keep, trying to cool him down regardless. Gwen, do you have a fever medicine kit? I never thought I would need to use this. Here you go, Leon. Oh. It's good that you have it around. Babies his age are prone to get sick. We'll need, still need to monitor his temperature. Let's check it every four hours. Kilia, I made a list of some more meds we may need. Go grab them for, from the nearest drugstore. Uh, all, all right, hang in there, Leon. This has all this has all me made me 
realize I still have a lot to learn about being a good parent. What would I have done if Bay wasn't with us? What will I have to do in the future when she's not around? I told Gwen not to panic, but I'm, I also, huh? Ring, ring. Thank you, Faye. I don't know what I would have done without you here. It's like you know everything there is to know. That's not true at all. For example, unlike you, I suck at cooking and really any chore. I'm only good at taking care of kids and that's only thanks to my big, how big our family is on our mother's side. To tell you the truth, I'm actually running away from a big fight with my husband. I just came across you and my brother on accident, though it worked out in both of our favors, I think. I'm sorry for lying about my intentions being here, but the things we talked about earlier and asking you to our mom's birthday, my feelings about it are all true. <laughs> You're always welcome to stop by. But I hope you and your husband can reconcile soon. Yeah, I hope you and my brother make up soon too. Or did something already happen? I'm back. I got the meds you listed. Oh, oh, I see. Huh? And Faye, your husband called. He asked if you were here. Are you fighting again? You told me you weren't here to hide. Why did you, he call you? Who knows? That punk. How's Leon? It looks like his condition's getting better. Is that so? That's good. I've been so worried. How about you? I'm okay now. I'm grateful that you and your sister are both here. Sorry for freaking out earlier. I let my anxiety get to me. I wasn't prepared for the situation, but I'll learn more about how to take care of children. Huh? I'll learn how to be a better parent. Uh, d do you want to hold him? Uh, I can. Reconcile. <clears throat> hey, Arthur. Could you come meet someone with me? We'll still need to come to an agreement on custody. To be continued. Oh! It was getting pretty spicy, but then, of course, the baby did get a fever. And I'm so glad they worked together and not freak out and not scream at each other and take out their frustration on each other, but instead figure out a solution and that is like a very healthy relationship right there like i absolutely love that and of course i still stand on the whole like she did drop the whole question like oh how many people have you been with or dating and stuff like that and to me i still feel kind of weird about it because i got burned really badly from my former boyfriend uh, where I did tell them and they use whatever I told them against me and it was just traumatizing so for me I learned to build trust and trusting others until they give me a reason to not trust anymore but you should not judge a person on how many by how many people they have dated or been with or whatever you should just focus on your relationship with that person you're with right now you know Anyways, if you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!